Hello, good am. This is Chi Lin from Don Chu Haido in Tukwila, Washington, Lin Don Ignacio, and I'm thrilled to be able to share this week's gospel lesson with you. This Sunday, we celebrate Pentecost. Many of you might recognize the word penta, like Pentagon, when you were learning about shapes in school. Penta means five, and Pentecost is 50 days after Easter. This is the day when Jesus' disciples receive the Holy Spirit. Before we begin, let's go over the goals for this lesson. The first goal is to connect our lives to the gospel. The second goal is to understand key words in the gospel. The third goal is to explore deeper meanings of the gospel. The fourth goal is to remember an important verse in the gospel. The fifth goal is to live out the gospel. And the sixth goal is to pray. Let us begin in the name of the Father and of the Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go ahead and think with me. What are some things you are afraid of? I know for me, when I was growing up, I was afraid of the dark. I'm still afraid of spiders, even though they're way smaller than I am. I'm really afraid of getting in trouble. And I'm afraid of bullies and being left out. Why do they make you afraid? Well, I'm afraid of the dark because I can't see anything out there, and I don't like the unknown. I'm scared of spiders because they're just creepy looking. I'm afraid of getting in trouble because I really just don't like that uncomfortable feeling. And I'm afraid of bullies and being left out because it just makes me feel hurt or unwanted. So what do you do when you are afraid? Em nam yiki em sa. Well, I don't know about you, but when I'm afraid, here's what I do. <laughs> I hide! I run away and I hide because I'm afraid of what's going to happen to me. Or I'm afraid of letting people down. And in today's gospel, the disciples are also in hiding because they're afraid of bad things possibly happening to them. But before we find out what actually happens to the disciples, let's go over our second goal, to understand the key words that we will hear in today's gospel. First, we will hear a phrase, first day of the week. You might think the first day is Monday, but it's actually Sunday. Sunday is the first day of the week. The second word is breathed, or toi hei. In the gospel, you will hear that Jesus breathed on his disciples, which might sound like a strange thing to do, but what it means is Jesus is sharing his spirit with the disciples. The third word is retain, or gam lai. When you retain something, it means you're holding on to it. And in the gospel, it will mean to not forgive. Jesus will give his disciples the power to forgive or not forgive, to retain or not retain. And the final word is Holy Spirit, Chuatengten, who is the third person of the Holy Trinity. Now that you know all four, let's begin the gospel. A reading from the Gospel according to John. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the doors were locked, where the disciples were, for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst, and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. Whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. The Gospel of the Lord. Let's explore this Gospel a little more. Remember earlier when we were talking about what made us afraid and hide? 
Well, the disciples were hiding because they were afraid of the Jews, who they had seen crucify their Lord and Master. And they were terrified that maybe the same thing might happen to them. But as you and I know, Jesus conquered death, he rose from the grave, and he appeared to his disciples, saying to them, Peace be with you. And he also gave them the Holy Spirit, all of which completely transforms the disciples. And you'll hear in future readings, not only were they no longer afraid, but they went out into the world to proclaim this good news of Jesus Christ. Our fourth goal is to remember an important Bible verse. Read this with me. Receive the Holy Spirit, whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. Các con hãy nhận lấy Thánh Thần. Các con tha tội cho ai, thì tội người ấy được tha. Các con cầm tội ai, thì tội người ấy bị cầm lại. We can live this gospel message by being open. And here are some strategies for you. Instead of being afraid of your assignments, which might be piling up, you can be open to still trying your best to learn. Instead of being afraid of spending time with family, who might be getting on your nerves now and then, you can be open by playing a game with them or talking to them. Instead of being afraid of getting in trouble or sometimes afraid of forgiving, people who may have hurt you, you can try to be open by listening to them and forgiving them, even when it's hard. And instead of being afraid of what might or might not happen tomorrow during this really challenging time of quarantine, we can be open by praying and hoping that things do get better. Let us pray. Holy Spirit, come to me. Open my eyes to you. Holy Spirit, Come to me, open my ears to you. Holy Spirit, come to me, open my life to you, that I may know Jesus and I seek his face, that I may hear his voice when he calls out my name. Oh my Jesus, live in me. I give my life to you. Amen.